Storing your spreadsheet data as Excel tables is going to save you a massive amount of time. I'm going to go through the six biggest reasons why you should do this in this video right now. Before we go on though, what on earth is an Excel table? Right, well, just to clarify, it's not a pivot table and it's not a data analysis table. It's simply a collection of data that Excel can refer to as a table and that will open up a whole load of additional features and benefits to you. And to turn something into a table, you go on the insert menu and you hit table. As long as you're inside a collection of data, it will make an assumption about where that data is. It will make an assumption about headers and you can tick or untick that, but basically you hit OK. This is now a table and you'll see that we now have a table design menu. All of these whole new bunch of features open plus a new right click menu associated with tables. First reason I think you should use tables is auto expanding ranges or dynamic ranges. One of the great things about Excel tables is that whenever you put new data into the table, it's automatically picked up by any formulas or linked reports or charts or pivot tables or anything. So anything that is linked to that table will automatically pick it up. Um, and this is just an amazing time saver in Excel because actually a lot of time is wasted sort of changing formulas or changing ranges of cells. So I'll give you an example here. I've got a little dashboard here where you can click on various things. and You've got a, a, a little pivot table here and some slices and a chart. And you've also got a drop down list here where you can pick the top customers in a particular category. Now, all of that is run from this table here, which is a large table of data. Now, I've got a whole load of new data that I've put down here that you can see, and I'm going to add this to the table. So I'm just going to copy all of that. And I'm going to paste it on the bottom of the table. And the first thing you notice is it sort of picks up all of the same kind of formatting as the table. So it's pretty clear that it's in but here's the proof when you go back to this report if I refresh this you'll see hopefully notice that small business the brand new customer segment has come in it's been added to the slicer and we can see the numbers here and it's also been added to this drop down list here and these numbers as well are all working completely fine not a single formula needed to be updated, nothing, just literally copy and paste straight in. So that is a brilliant feature of tables that will save you an awful lot of time indeed. But of course, that's not it actually. There's more to this auto expanding stuff. I go to this table and so one thing, for example, I go to the end, if I hit the tab key, you'll see Hopefully you can see that it's put another row on the bottom automatically and this will now get picked up by any data ranges. I can also drag and drop the table range around to include other things. And if I type anything on the right hand side, so I'm going to type the word total and I can put a formula in there in a minute. That will automatically expand that table to include this column as well. So that will be available now in other reports and anything linked to the table. Auto expanding, a brilliant feature of tables. Great reason why you want to be using tables as much as possible is the whole automatic selection of data when you hit numerous sort of features in Excel. So I would call it, perhaps refer to it as sort of um, auto data ranging. And this is what I mean. So if on the data menu, you hit one of these sort buttons and you probably just see it as a bit of a flash, it will automatically highlight all of the data in the table and apply that function to it. 
same with the filter um, anything like sort remove duplicates it automatically highlight that and it give you your you know so if you want to do anything like that you know maybe a something like a you know a forecast sheet picks the whole thing up so any buttons that you hit it will automatically expand to pick the data and and that includes as well shortcut keys like control a hit it once it will automatically highlight the table data range hit it twice it will pick up the headers and any total rows too hit it a third time and you get the whole sheet outside of the table so because this table is like an object it's automatically going to recognize it in Excel and it just saves you like an extra click. And if you know your shortcut keys, you know, it's even better. Oh, you know, sorting by product ID, sorting by customer, for example. It's it's perfect. Really, really fast. You don't need to worry about highlighting ranges before you do anything. reason that makes tables a must use feature of Excel is a really quick and simple one but just really useful and that is when you scroll down I don't know if you can see but the column headers instead of being a we've got a there instead of being B C D whatever they column headers in the actual spreadsheet become your table headers and clicking on them actually only highlights the table data demonstrate that if I go back up you can see there you know when I click like that I'll get the whole data but as I move down it says 2021 I click it now just highlighted that it's just a really nice touch great great little feature there that just means that it's easier to read your data and just saves you time sort of freezing pains and things like that a great little thing about tables is the formatting is automatic so if you're in a table and you want to put some more data on the end of this table I'm just going to pick some data here and bring in all of this and this is unformatted data here it's got you know there's no commas in the numbers and the number of decimal places are somewhat random when I go on the bottom of this table and paste it, you'll see what it's done is it's replicated the format of everything above. So it just saves that just that little bit of time there that you can, you know, save kind of doing a paste special or, uh, or some kind of like format painter and bringing it down. I mean, as well as the fact that it's brought in the formulas on the other columns too. But yeah, this just this little uh, data format keeps everything consistent. It's just a nice touch and just saves that little bit of time. And it's one of those features, it's just a little thing on top of everything else that tables have to offer in terms of time saving benefits. It means you can cut hours off your working week. What are slicers? Well, slicers are a way of having effectively your filtering system on the table built onto buttons on screen. So let's put some slices onto this table so that we can filter it quickly and simply. Before I do that though, what's the alternative? We've got these filter buttons here. So product category, I could hit there, hit on furniture, and I'll filter to furniture. Hopefully you're aware of that. But it's a bit clicky. And although there are shortcuts, so I could do Alt and the arrow down, and I could hit Spacebar to tick and untick and enter for OK, it's still a lot more clunky than just hitting a button. Alt AC to remove filters, by the way. So I'm just going to um, insert a few rows at the top here, just so we've got room for these slices that I'm going to put on. I'll click anywhere in the table so I get my table design menu. And on there, we have insert slicer button. What am I going to do? Well, I want to put some buttons so that people can pick the customer, seg the customer segment and the product category. Hit OK. And here they are. Not great looking, I must admit, right now. But that's no problem because we 
have a slice of styles to pick from and we can pick one that looks perhaps a bit more like our table and kind of match it up and we can customize this if necessary by duplicating and then modifying the duplicate which will be at the top as a custom one. That's for another time though. All right, so now we've got them looking kind of okay but they're a bit messy aren't they but they do work you know we can click on these buttons and we're filtering our data and looking at it and that's all kind of great we can click on this clear filter buttons or have multiple buttons filters at the same time and that's all great and what I want to do though is quickly modify these so that they look a bit better and when you click on them you'll get a slicer menu appear and on this we can do things like change the number of columns so if we change that one to two and that one to two and then we can sort of drag them around we can snap them to the grid by holding down alt um, we'll do something like that for example product category and this one we'll perhaps put over here and maybe delete those two rows you know move that one over there a bit say customer segment just using the arrow keys and there's all sorts of options on these menus that we could pick from including like the heights of the buttons you know heights of the actual slicer we can have them over the top of each other etc etc and then there's a whole bunch of settings so really feature rich options just on their own that can make your data tables look really good especially if you've just got a little table and it forms part of a report you could have like the actual end user be clicking on buttons rather than messing about with filters so yet another time saving tip and reason to use excel tables in your spreadsheets moving columns around if you have an Excel table and your data's in a table, moving columns and rows is an absolute breeze and all your formulas will stay intact. Even when you do stuff that you might think looks pretty crazy and was bound to mess up formulas, it really doesn't. Now, let's say you wanna move customer segment over here next to the category. You can click on the header there and click it again so that the whole column is highlighted. Now, when you get a crosshair, sort of hovering anywhere around the border, you could drag this and it will automatically, you know, if we drag it to there, it's just gonna put it over there. Anything that was linked to that is gonna stay linked to customer segment. It's not gonna be picking up like, picks up the column based off of the header, not from the reference. So all your formulas are fine and Yes, it's sort of messed up the column widths, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, you could just highlight them and double click the top there and that would that would work. Or, you know, if it's the only thing on the sheet, you can always click on there and double click and that would like auto fit like your entire sheet. So that's fine. But what if, uh, you know, we've got a formula here, for example, that says that we want to sum from 20, column 2021 to column 2024. Now let's do something really daft here. Let's put um, the customer segment right in the middle of that lot there and hit, you know, again, go up here and hit this to auto fit. Has that formula messed up? No, the formula stayed the same, but it's ignored this. You've not got an error from summing or anything. It's intelligent enough to recognize what it should be doing. So you haven't even got any problems there. So I'm gonna undo that move. Also, highlighting rows, you can move them around and it will just insert rows wherever you want. Now, if we go down to the bottom, and I'm just going to put a total row on the bottom here, you might think that on a normal data set, if we swapped that down there to the total, these totals would not pick up that new row because we've moved them outside of the formula range. But of course, with um, the referencing in tables it's picking up the column total so no problem there at all so you're saving a whole load of time and effort of changing ranges and changing formulas because you could just move these columns around 
so your hearts can turn. Really, really simple to move stuff around in tables, insert rows, insert columns, everything's working. A whole load of Excel doing the hard work for you so you don't have to. Bonus reason why you should be using Excel tables. And actually, this is probably one of the biggest reasons you should use them of all. And that is that they are your gateway to Power Query. And Power Query is a whole nother world of productivity in Excel that's just gonna save you an unbelievable amount of time. So if there's, if tables haven't saved you enough time, the Power Query is just gonna accelerate absolutely everything else you can do. So why do you need them for Power Query? Well, to get data into Power Query, although you can get it from all sorts of things like files and databases and, and ranges of cells, if you hit from table stroke range straight into a button, um, it's going to open straight up in the Power Query editor. It's going to pull in all that data there. You've got all your column headings ready set. You've got a good name. The name has been picked up and everything is, you know, straight in and you've saved a whole lot of time in Power Query before you do anything else. So um, it's an entire another playlist of videos about how you use Power Query. So it's not one for here, but it is a bonus to let you know that you want to get used to using tables because it's going to open the door to the entire new world of productivity for you. If you want to get impressive results the fastest way in Excel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and have a look at these recommended videos too.